everyone, Wes here. Uh, so I had a lot of people ask me, what do you use to make animated GIF? What does your workflow look like? And uh, it's a little bit complicated, but I've uh, done a lot of testing and I found that this is the best way to get them. So uh, if we take a quick look at my Twitter here, there's two ways that you can upload animated GIFs. And really at the end of the day, they're all just MP4s because animated GIF is a really a crappy way to uh, to deliver some sort of animation because the file size is huge and the quality is very, very low. But that said, if you put an animated GIF on Twitter, um, it will actually convert it to an MP4. But when you do it as a GIF, it will make it repeatable, which means that it will loop indefinitely. Uh, and then it will also start auto playing in people's feeds, which uh, is really nice to have. Uh, the downside to that is the quality is really, really poor and it can't be very long. Uh, and the upside to using MP4 is uh, this is MP4, much better quality. I, I couldn't do this one as an animated GIF because I really wanted to show the buttery transitions that I have here. And it just wasn't working for me when I did an animated GIF because the frame rate is so low. So both of those, um, I've got two ways to go ahead and record that. And the first one is if I just have a quick animated GIF that I need to do and I can do it in one shot, I use this little app called Cloud App to upload all of my screenshots to. And you can, it's kind of cool. You can see like how many people click on them. Um, and all you have to do is you click on this one, you drag and drop where you want the animated GIF to go. If you make it big enough, you get the ability to change between an MP4 and a GIF. I'm gonna leave this one as a GIF for now. Go ahead and click start, and then just go ahead and do your thing, like move some stuff around, jump around, and then when you click finish, it will automatically upload it for me to this URL here. And it should show me a pretty nice looking GIF. The, the quality is really good here. Uh, the speed at which it uploads, uh, everything, I'm really, really happy with it. The only downside is that there's no editing. Uh, and for me, editing is pretty big uh, because, um, let me show you what I've done here. I've got this little uh, thing that I've written. I say ULLI times five. This is just an Emmet. Uh, inside of that, I want a link. And inside of that, I want item dollar dollar and I hit tab and it goes. So if that's like a little trick I want to show on Twitter or in an animated GIF, uh, I would go ahead and use ScreenFlow, which is a, a way to record your screen. And then I edit that down, I chop it up, I speed the segments up, and I'll export it to MP4 at the end of the day. Uh, so I've gone ahead and recorded just uh, myself doing it here. And we're at uh, almost 16 seconds here. And you can see like it's going like, kind of slow because I, I need to make sure that I'm typing it properly. Um, and I, I did a little typo there. I said tem, and then now I say item. And I don't want to include all of that. And rather than try to like re-record it eight or nine times to just absolutely nail it, uh, what I'll do is I'll just use uh, this editing tool just to trim it down. So first thing I'll do is make sure that it starts right away when I'm typing. So if I zoom this in a bit and I drag start typing right about there, I'll just trim it. And then I will go ahead and that one's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And that's where I hit the typo. So I'm going to go ahead and split that. And I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to type the typo and I'm going to backspace. OK, stop there. I'm going to split it. And I'm just going to go ahead, delete that one piece and bring this back up here. So now it's pretty smooth. I type item dollar dollar and then I hit tab. So good. I can just stop it right about there. Trim the rest of it. Good. Now we're at about six and a half seconds. However, that's still a little bit long. Uh, for someone's attention to sit there and watch it. And especially if they catch the, the animated GIF about halfway through and they have to wait till it starts again, it's just a little bit too long. So uh, what I like to do is uh, chop it into pieces that are slow and speed those parts up. So uh, this LI, when, as soon as I type that LI, I'm going to go ahead and split it. And that part, that is too slow for me. So I'm going to go ahead and split that up and I'm going to speed that just that part up to be one second. So I'm going to move these guys back. So UL LI times five, see nice and fast. And I'll probably even go ahead and make that a little bit shorter. And same with this. I'll just make sure that is slow, 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 or fast, fast, fast. Now let's give it a quick watch. Five, A, F. Good. Hit tab. Good. And we're at about four seconds. Now I'm happy with it. I'm going to go ahead and export it. Uh, actually, first thing I need to do is trim it. Uh, so I'm going to trim to just about there and then trim it to there. Sometimes I'll add a whole bunch of extra padding on my editor so that you get like a nice blue background behind it. I'll apply that make sure that everything, oh, that's a little bit too much trimming. Trim that down, apply. 
good. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and export it. I have a folder called Tweet GIFs. I'm going to call this Emmet Expansion MP4. So I'm exporting to MP4 here. Um, I'm on a 4K monitor, so I scale it down by half just because the pixels are doubled. Otherwise, it's going to be way too big to, to convert. I leave mine on high, or you can monkey around with those if you want. And I'm going to go ahead and export it. Almost out of space there. Um, now, if I go to my tweet GIF, I can open that up. We called it Emmet, uh, Emmet Expansion. Let me just see what that looks like. It's going to open it up in VLC. And here we go, UL, LI. It's a little bit uh, blurry on mine because I'm on a 4K monitor, but it won't be regularly. I'm really happy with that. Now I got to convert it into a GIF and um, I've tried all kinds of GIF conversion tools and the one I've settled on is called Gifify and it's a node module uh, that will take in your MP4s and uh, it does an awesome job at making them very, very small. I've done, I've used all kinds of tools and this one makes it the smallest possible size with the best uh, possible quality. So uh, there's a lot of stuff on here, but essentially you just need to do npm install dash G Gifify. Uh, and then you will get this command called gifify, see here, dash O, emmet expansion dot gif, and then it wants emmet expansion dot mp4. Go ahead and hit enter. And I should be able to open up the current folder. And we'll take a look at what we've got here. I'm at expansion.gif, 43K, super small for an animated GIF. And then I would just head over to Twitter, make the tweet, and upload that sucker uh, onto here, and you're good to go. So that's my that's my animated GIF workflow. I'm usually able to crank out one in, in just a couple of minutes. I've taken about 10 here uh, on this video, but it's, it's a lot faster. Let me know if you have any questions, and thanks a lot.